what really makes Bonnaroo special is the community that we've built. Bonnaroo is really an ecosystem. From a sustainability perspective, really it's, you know, it's the philosophy for us is that we understand the issues environmentally, um, and I believe that you need to be a part of the solution. Natural resources uh, are not unlimited, and for us to have such an amazing platform to educate and be a part of a solution, we have to take that opportunity to do so. What the panels do is they're taking in light. We are transducing photons into voltage, storing that in a battery bank. Uh, and from the battery bank, we can invert that back into AC power, which we can use on the stage. Well, the event itself produces over a million pounds of waste each year. Um, last year, we recycled over 170 tons of that material. We are responsible for all things trash recycling and compost here at Bonnaroo. Uh, just like any city, someone's in charge of the waste removal. Bonnaroo is a big city. In terms of the overall impact, we've diverted over 3 million pounds of waste from the landfill. The compost, it's at least 750 cubic yards. You can see this pile here was four times the size of that last year. Uh, basically, over the course of the last 12 months, that pile, everything's broken down. Uh, done its composting thing and it's become this much smaller pile of really fertile rich compost. They've planted over a hundred trees throughout the site just trying to really uh, improve the, the look and the quality of the site, provide more shade for patrons. So here we've got our amazing uh, compost sorting volunteers. These guys uh, sort through every bag. You can see this is all stuff that can go in the compost in here. These guys do it for six hours a day. They know that it's a huge part of what we need to do to make sure that we can have a clean compost stream here. Bonner is a perfect example of a festival that's figured out really how to do it right. Um, the waste that's generated at an event like this is enormous. You've got, you know, one of their eco stations where they're separating their trash, their landfill, and their recycling. The signs have pictures. You need to have pictures in order for people to realize what goes where. The sustainability initiative at Bonnaroo could be applied to a lot of different kinds of events, sporting events, the Olympics had a huge sustainability initiative where you're paying attention to how everyone's getting there and you're paying attention to where the material's going. In terms of events where you're consuming a lot of beverages, for example, beverage containers are all recyclable. You can recycle aluminum easily and it's valuable. Glass as well is recyclable. Plastic is a challenge. Influence in terms of the fans who are here and they're learning how to recycle. They're understanding what compost even means and also the operations of the festival are learning as they go.